Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be making a nice holiday inspired, low ABV cocktail comprised of homemade chestnut orgeat, my homemade amaretto, and some non-alcoholic rum. I don't think I've really done many, if any, low ABV cocktails on this channel, which is a shame because I really enjoy them, especially when I'm hosting for the holidays. This cocktail is so smooth and soft, I'm calling it cashmere. It's got a delicious toasted nuttiness along with some vanilla. It's the perfect festive drink to cozy up with on a cold December night. It all starts with a roasted chestnut orgeat. First thing to do is to roast the chestnuts. I preheat my oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit and cut an X into the flat part of each chestnut. I'll roast these for 20 minutes and then let them cool completely before removing the outer shell. Definitely roast more than you think you will need. This recipe calls for six chestnuts, but a couple of them were duds, so I'm glad I roasted extra. Once the shell is removed from all of the chestnuts, I'll measure out 50 grams and add them to my blender. I'm also adding 195 grams or seven ounces of hot but not boiling water. I'll blend this all together in my Vitamix blender for about 45 seconds. Then I'll strain everything through a nut milk bag. Next, I'm going to clean out my blender and then add back the roasted chestnut milk, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, half a teaspoon of salt, and 165 grams of turbinado sugar. I'm going to blend all of this together until the sugar is dissolved. And then while the blender is still running, I'm going to be adding a blend of xanthan gum and gum arabic. 0.4 grams of gum arabic and 0.09 grams of xanthan gum. Once the gums are added, I'll let the blender run for another minute to hydrate the gums. The reason I add the gums is to stabilize the orgeat. It will make it a little bit harder for the orgeat to separate. Now I'll pour this roasted chestnut orgeat into a container and keep it in the fridge until it cools. Once the toasted chestnut orgeat is cool, we're all set to build the cocktail. First, I'm adding one ounce of the chestnut orgeat to my mixing tin. Next, I'm adding one ounce of amaretto. I'm using my homemade amaretto here. It's much less sweet than the typical store-bought amaretto. My recipe is linked below if you want to see how I made my own amaretto. You can use store-bought amaretto if you like, but I would definitely use somewhere between half an ounce to three-quarter ounce of amaretto. Next, I'm going to add two ounces of this Sear Hill Rum Alternative. You can use regular rum here if you want. Any kind of aged rum would work really great in this. Now I'm going to add three drops of these Texas bitters from De La Rosa. I'm not exactly sure what's in the ingredients, it just says native blend, but they taste very cardamomy to me, so I think they'll add a really nice spice to this cocktail. And lastly, I'm going to be adding one egg white. I'm going to shake all of this together with two cubes and then strain into my coupe. And that's it. My cashmere cocktail is ready and oh my gosh, it's so delicious. So soft and creamy. I also tried this with a vegan foamer instead of egg white and it turned out just as good, though it did have a little bit more bubbleage on top. The Sear Hill Rum Alternative adds a beautiful vanilla and caramel flavor to this drink. The egg white really adds an extra silkiness to this cocktail. I think it's perfect for the holidays, roasted chestnuts and all. I really hope you guys give this a try, and if you do, please let me know what you think in the comments below. If you're at all curious about non-alcoholic spirits, I have a whole review video on them that I'll link below. I also have a new non-alcoholic spirits tasting coming up very soon featuring this rum and so many other new zero proof spirits. Thank you all so much for watching and have a happy holiday. Cheers.